The anterior cruciate ligament, also known as the ACL, is an important stabilizer in the knee that helps us withstand the cutting forces of our favorite sports, like soccer, volleyball, field hockey, or tennis. For female athletes under the age of 20, the likelihood of a torn ACL is extraordinarily high. In fact, young female athletes are four to eight times more likely to injure their ACL than their male counterparts of the same age playing the same sports. This devastating injury can have you sidelined on the bench for up to a year while you heal. So why are ACL tears an epidemic for our growing population of young female athletes? Well, during and after puberty, a girl's pelvis is wider than a boy's pelvis, and that creates a greater Q angle, which is the angle from your hip to your knee. And because a girl's muscles are slower to develop than boys, these two circumstances make you much more prone to injury. There's a simple test you can do today called the jump test to help determine the likelihood of an ACL injury. All you will need is your phone's video camera and a friend or family member to video your lower body as you jump up and down. If you have a camera with slow motion, that's even better. So are you ready? Okay, action. Now jump up and down two to three times while the camera is rolling. When you're done, play back the video and look closely at your landing technique. Since the female pelvis already causes the knee to have more of an inward angle, it's important that your knees stay in line when landing. If your knees are coming inward when you land, you have a much higher likelihood of rotating and tearing your ACL. Are you wondering if there are things you can do to help prevent an ACL injury? Well, there are. You can work with an athletic trainer or physical therapist, or you can do some of your own exercises to help strengthen your core and hip abductors. We provide a link for you at the end of this video to some free resources to get you started. But keep in mind, a 2013 study from Sports Medicine reported that the more active a young girl is, the more likely she is to have a tear. So if you do get an ACL injury or tear, what are your treatment options? We hear all about our sports stars having surgery, but with the exception of the most severe injuries, there really isn't good research showing that an ACL surgery will get you back to your game faster than not having surgery. That's because ACL surgery requires drilling holes in the bone and inserting a ligament that isn't like the original, which requires 6 to 12 months of physical rehabilitation to regain strength and range of motion. The chances of re-injuring the ACL are even higher following surgery, and one recent study found that two out of three teenagers who had an ACL surgery developed arthritis in the knee by the time they were 30. Other studies have found that physical therapy may work just as well as surgery, so this is another treatment option for many ACL injuries. Lastly, there are promising new non-surgical regenerative treatment options that use your own platelets or stem cells to help heal the injured ligament rather than replace it. These procedures involve an injection rather than surgery. Downtime is generally less, so you may want to check these out as well. Memories are made in sports, so stay safe out there. And if you do experience an ACL tear or other joint injury, be sure to do your homework on all of your possible treatment options. For free exercises and more information on regenerative treatments for ACL tears or to donate to help promote awareness of ACL injuries in young female athletes, please visit www.interventionalorthopedics.org ACL.